here we are again, um, discovering a, a painting from the Mississippi. Um, it's overlooking um, from Prescott, Wisconsin, overlooking the Mississippi River, right near the confluence of the, or near the confluence of the Mississippi, merging into, uh, St. Croix merging into the Mississippi River. So um, this is it, and we're going to be doing it. I have a picture here. I have on the iPad and same picture, uh, better color because of that. And um, uh, it's a good idea to use the technology as it is, you know, um, for your benefit and so on. So I mixed up some paint. Um, I'll be placing up on the top left a photograph of this this uh, what I'm taking it from on this iP iPad or Galaxy 2 excuse, excuse me it doesn't really matter but anyway um, um, yellow greens tend to be in the front then it goes towards the um, bluer greens and then back to the the uh, other shoreline which is um, all trees uh, almost look like mountains in a lot of ways under this um, overcast sky um, and it's very blue because of it so I've got a blue gray mixed up you know and um, a one that I kind of like so we're going to apply it I'm going to use a palette knife right today to just get it on there a little bit and then we'll see what happens this is a ground this is a birch panel with um, acrylic primer toned green. So I'm just going to put some of this down here. You have to get your values right, it's very important. When I put this down, it almost looks too dark. Now it might be, but not, I don't think it's too far off. So we're just going to put this down. I used a red indelible marker. Um, it's very fine, so it's not really going to affect anything underneath. Okay, so so should I say that's done then? <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to check to see if you're still on. Okay. Twenty four minutes of this go around. I'm going to be putting in these trees right here now and so let's do that. Trees back here, trees in this area, and all these are trees. A lot of trees in this painting, and that's what really uh, a lot of people have trouble with are, are the trees. So I'm going to have to mix up a little bit more green. I'm using the ultramarine blue, sap green. Mixing that together, adding a bunch of burnt umber and um, rather dark. This is rather dark here. So we're going to add um, some yellow to it and um, we use this in the, in the real dark areas below the trees or the lower parts of the trees here, probably uh, where this um, is here.
darker trees back there. And um, Definitely, there's some darker trees way in the back. In the, uh, the, they're probably not accepting as much light in there. So probably the reason for that. So we're just putting that in there like that. I notice I let a gap here between the, the far furthest trees and so on, because they're actually a little bit lighter, a little bit bluer probably. So let's um. Let's add a little bit um, of this blue gray to there and we'll put that in right here. I should maybe lighten it up a little bit because it's further a little bit further away. Actually, I got it a little bit warmer. That's not right. It should be cooler. So I'm going to add a little bit more cooler color right in there. Okay. So we have these uh, trees right in the bottom right. Let's just put those in right now. Um, Tend to doubly. This is a smoother surface board, one I can make myself. Okay, then we're gonna put this front piece in. It's got some of the same color as here I'm going to use. Up here, I don't want to cross that like it does in the some of this yellow green mixture um, down here it's almost a, a rust color and we'll include that right down here So, um, maybe we should mix up some watercolor. Got to put that, let's <laughs> see what we got. Um, kind of moving a little bit faster here than most of my paintings. Um, probably because I'm putting it on with um, a palette knife, but that doesn't make it nicer or better. It's just a way of doing it. Let's, um, okay. So what I see are some blue grays. Um, let's add some blue. It's very, it's very desaturated. <coughs> so I add a bunch of orange to that, which is the complement. So therefore it grays it down, right? So gray it down a lot. 
and um, I had a bunch of more white. I had a bunch of white here. So that's some of this gray from the far shore. We'll add some of that to that and see what happens. Yeah. Let's add a little bit of uh, ultramarine blue to this. Just blue it. Blue will make it more of a blue gray. And um, where on that photograph do we see this color? I don't see it. <laughs> okay, I do. I do see some of that in these areas. I'm going to put, you can see that there's some the kind of bands. There are bands of it and then there's lighter plain bands. I see some over here. Some more over here. There's some bands here. I'll just put something in there like that. And, um, we just draw this down just a little bit because that's the reflections. There's a, some more white, a very light, very light blue gray. And I'm just going to put a little bit of that in right now. I see it more of a band right there. I see it as like a band right here. And another band right up here. We haven't actually started painting yet, have we? We're just placing color. We're just placing color right now. I've got some gray, blue gray. I'm just going to put that up here. Draw it down and then over. There's some of that here too. Put that in. Add a little bit more white in there. Now this is not white. This is definitely far from white. I don't use white much. Just way at the end for maybe some brilliant accents or whatever. All right. So. Let's get some kind of sky color going here. I've interrupted in, uh, in my painting many times, sometimes some numerous times during the day, and then you just have to be able to put it down. What's nice about this paint box, this paint, I just clap it up and shove it in a refrigerator so it doesn't dry out and so on. This is very blue, light gray blue. And it has, a, I'm going to put a little bit of that, I'm going to put a little bit of a pinkish color into it, a little alizarin and crimson, and then some of that light, light 
color. There's kind of a pink haze here. I'm gonna put that in. I don't, I don't drag it down completely to the, you know, mix it yet. So I see a bunch of them. Um, there's some white clouds in here. Some lighter clouds, let's put it that way. And I'm gonna throw some in here like this. But they're a little bit blue too. So I'm um, so I'm gonna put this in here. Wait a second, okay, I got people that want me, so let's go pretty soon. I'm just throwing it in here. We're going to have to model it and do different things later. Put some of this up here a little bit. And some of that. I see some blue, grays, some lighter add a little bit of cerulean blue um, and some of that blue blue from the back mountains and so on too and um, some of this yellows are in crimson I've got a bunch of grays that I'm going to put in here and we're just going to put that in this area like this Halfway, halfway um, doing this. All right, um, so I have to go for a couple hours, so I'll be getting back again. As you can see, um, I just came back from being gone for, uh, at this point in the, and um, what I did was to keep this paint that I mixed up, it's only about two, three hours, I put a cling wrap over it. Now I'm going to take that off, throw it away, take this off of here and I'm ready to go already to paint. You can buy these at TomFisherArt.com and just look under the tab Art Tools and uh, they work really great. Okay. I gotta get into my uh, picture here to find that. Okay. So, um, what I'm going to do is use this brush. We're going to pull this together here. This is kind of filling in all the spaces all the areas that are not filled in.
cover up the board <laughs> all over. Just drawing this close to the So you can see how uh, it sort of takes sort of comes together that way. There. Okay, and so then um, it's actually rather straight, isn't it, across there, so maybe we'll, we'll work on that a little bit, but straightening, it, uh, straightening it out a little bit. Okay, so I'm pulling these trees down into the darker greens. This comes across here. We have this tree here. Okay, and this is, comes up here a little bit. And around here man that's looking pretty good already all right the thing is is that um, this white area here I have to work on that a little bit right here.
straight to some of this gray, light gray, and put a few touches in here. See, although uh, in the picture it doesn't show it, I'm making this a little bit warmer um, gray, blue-gray. Yeah. <laughs> uh, blue is, is cool, but <laughs> I guess what I, it's a warmer gray is what I'm putting in here. So it's a, can't be both, I guess. So, and... Um, <clears throat> So I'm just going to add a little bit um, of these grays to There's some darks right in here, so I'm going to add some of these darks that I mixed up previously. I'm taking some of those blue grays that I had before, adding adding some light white to it and so on and coming up with a little bit more of this stuff and uh, adding a little bit of cerulean to it to blue it more I have to then come and add a little bit of orange to knock the knock the um, gray blue gray back and um, and what it is is you know you add um, orange to blue it's the complement so you're reducing the um, so we do reducing the intensity of the colors and so on.
adding a little bit more cerulean blue to this gray back here it's just a little bit reduce too much and it's a little a little bit too um, dark so I'm going to add a little bit more of this same watercolor <laughs> watercolor to the gray back there and reduce this a little bit. It's better, better. So we're adding a little bit more ultramarine blue to this and we're going to put these, these darker They're actually more bluer, so I'm going to add a little bit more ultra green blue to this. And to this area down here. These have some differentiation. This is all one couple of different colors, so what I want to do is um, a little bit darker down here. Just gonna pull this down here. I like the way the original, I mean, the photo looks right there, so I'm down in the same manner. Had a little bit more up here. So, I want to get these values right. We've got a cat that's asking to get in, so let me gone for a second. So we're uh, adding some darks up here just to, just to show you can see what it's doing already. I'm going to add a little bit more cerulean to that in the background. some green green grays some of them are warmer than others
This is a much more yellow green. This um, this land that extends out of here, and it looks like it continues on down here. So I'm gonna. more yellow green so we're going to include some of that I'm gonna pick up some cad yellow there you don't want on um, on something like this um, you don't want to overdo the intensity or it looks garish and it doesn't look real anymore So I think I want to add a little bit more fog and that kind of thing back here so that the front stuff will read a little bit more. Okay, so that's kind of taking its rightful place, right? <clears throat> As you can see, we've got kind of a red here. I think that's pretty good. But I think it does lighten up right at the, at the horizon. So let's be gone, you know, be gone beyond the darks. Yeah, there's a little bit of, of light emanating from that. I think we want to include that. It's very subtle, very subtle, but it's there. This has some um, grasses and some swamp grasses and so on into this area, and I want to put that in now.
this is some we're gonna push this up we're gonna cut that we're gonna come up a little bit further you don't want to cut it right on a line that uh, doesn't work some little bit of a area of water coming going through here so we'll allow that to happen and this is a little bit darker too I'm adding a burnt umber to a little bit of, of um, sap green here just on this outskirts of this peninsula here I'm extending this a little bit too because I don't want something to hit right in the end I don't want it to hit end right in the center that's that's not gonna look good so I'm extending that a little bit right here I don't want it to come to that same stopping point though so we're gonna it'll be much better I think So I'm cutting across there. It's kind of doing two things. It's it's showing me where the dividing line is of these two things, as well as um, kind of differentiating between. You know, the uh, reflection as well. Um, this is a longer reflection here. see a little bit of that here this is a fairly large right below this I see that um, there's that light source that coming right down on the trees. You can see some of the tops of the trees that way. And so So they're definitely warmer here, cooler back there. Going to make that a little bit uh, deeper. Yeah. 
And I think it looks better because of it. It's, it's darker because it's up closer, but it's the, the blue greens that I see. Sometimes the uh, this will be broken. And you see this division between trees and so on. Also you can see that um, you can see divisions. You don't want to make these um, too similar to one another these rivlets between the trees or it'll look uh, contrived so you have to change that up even though that they might be somewhat that way you can't put them down that way See the breakup of trees there? It's great. It's neat. I think this has gone got too high on that, so I'm going to have to pull it back. There. I think that's better, but I, I want to definitely... glue these trees up here. And make them. Went too high on that. It's just a slip of my brush here. Also at times some of this fog creeps in. Comes into this area too. I like to include some of this. Some of these pinks that I have in here, I want to include some of that back in here. You can see how wonderful that is, what it does now. This is somewhat made up. I don't see it there, but I'm putting it in. Because I need some color in here. So much green, it's killing me off. So much green. And blue.
A little more cerulean blue back there. Um, I think I'm going to do a mixture of cerulean and ultramarine blue and then put that back there. I think that's better. Yeah, it reads better a little bit. Use that same mixture across here, just to differentiate a little bit. Oh, also, I, also, I see a real uh, change here. And I see that this is not as big. See that that helped give a little bit more distance back there. Um, do that. I think I want to blue that whole area up a little bit. Blue it up and then. This is going to help a lot right here. I'm just trying to get the drawing kind of accurate too.
So, is everyone still with me here? Let's see. Yeah, okay, good deal. Appears like I have to make this more of a harder line right here. in a little bit more too here and then it comes out Added a little bit of red right in there, but also um, also to um, improve the looks in that area. I think it did. Harder line along that. Side there. This is better, looks better. Only a little bit more, a little bit more cerulean in that area. Yeah, looks better.
This is sort of developed now. Now we're going to go down here and kind of check that out a little bit. <clears throat> Um, yeah, this has a lot more yellow in it. I'm going to, it's a, it's a yellow, but, um, it has some red, lots of reds in it, or oranges, I should say. So I'm just going to put in, a, I'm going to put in some of this. Get some red in here as well, down below here. Put a bunch more yellow in here. Very, um, what would you say, um, impressionistic to use, use this. Um, with such um, thickness and texture of paint. So we'll see what we got here. A lot of times, uh, you, what you can do is kind of, kind of um, take a certain area, especially right, like right in here, <clears throat> and um, the the portions of the painting that actually, or any one area that really define anything. Uh, from another is actually um, a lot of times is more of a function of edges than it is um, in other words you can define certain things by its, their edges uh, without uh, concerning yourself with the volume of that object. Let's put it this way, this object here, the, all this, all this um, foliage can be, you know, the, 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 the warmer areas, that's one area, and you got to think of it as an area. And so now I'm going to come back and we see that this thing up here is um, is darker. So I'm going to include that. Uh, a good black can be made by using burnt umber and um, ultramarine blue here.
So you can see what I'm kind of doing is I'm going to move this down. I don't want it interrupt this interrupting and coming against that. Um, just um, that would not look so good. In other words, <laughs> another way of putting it, as you can see that I don't have to draw or paint every little um, every little leaf in there. Rather, uh, just worry about the edges, and it it gives the impression that. Um, You know that you're doing the whole thing that you're putting in all that detail and you're really not I accentuate some things, some colors I am accentuating here, <clears throat> uh, but but not enough to um, to say, hey, this you know I I don't accentuate it so much, uh, not or answer colors so much that it becomes garish or it doesn't look possible for that to happen. So, um, go back and forth, kind of, um, looking at the whole situation and saying, yeah. you know, if there's anything that, um, doesn't look right or whatever, and you come back into it. Okay, this doesn't look too bad now. There's a couple of areas that it appears like. And yeah, a little bit of 
bread to this. And um, <clears throat> lighten this up a little bit. There's some of this area. The sky holes that we're doing, it's the, they're actually not sky, but I call them sky anyway. Those holes that uh, open themselves up to, to say, uh, this is water back there. Those things, the smaller they are, the, the darker you must paint them. Otherwise it looks like they're playing based it on. So when they're they're big, I can uh, I can make them lighter. So we'll do that right now. Okay, so I squint and so on, and um, you don't want to get so contrived. We got all this kind of detail in there. With these, um, you kind of define these. Leaves by <clears throat> making sure that uh, the profile, the edges look correct. And then it look, works a lot better. Okay, so this doesn't look too bad here. This is not so bad. Um, I got some darks here I want to put in. I'm mixing up some of these darks. I want to go more um, You don't want to wear where it's darker, then you want to put the darker the dark, darks in there. Play darks against lights. That uh, sometimes works the best.
A lot of times you want to take your darks and so on and kind of pull them together as one unit. There, I think it's starting to take take shape there. Um, Going to add a little bit more, um, a little bit more of this watercolor here. You can make too many holes in something and it won't look that good anymore so you might have to kind of pull it together a little bit like this. Looks too contrived otherwise. Pretty good. Now it's time to um, just go for the enhancements. I think that's um, going from top to top to bottom. Let's add a little bit more white in a little, couple places. And what I mean by that is, I'm adding more texture in the white areas. More texture. More texture, more texture reflects the light better. So I'm gonna put a little bit of extra light in here too. That's good. A little bit more over here. see some clouds in the distance and so on and I want to put that down and I think it's helpful I think it's helpful a little bit I'm going to 
darken up just a little bit some of these areas. It's pretty close to what the original is. I'm going to uh, do that and probably add just a little bit of red right in this area. Just add some color in there. Possibly a little bit over here. Just a little bit. Introducing some reds here and there. <clears throat> yeah. A little bit more color in here. I better pull, put some over here then too. It's a little bit uh, of red and, and orange. And um, where should I put that? Probably uh, because it's color more colorful and so on. Introduce more towards the... Um, towards the area of uh, interest, which is my focal areas right in here. You can see the circular path that this has taken. So that's part of it. getting some color throughout the whole thing that's a, which is good um, this area right here is bothering me a little bit so So I'm looking back here, getting back from the painting is good to do that, to see what you have. Um, maybe a certain area might be too intense. I think this might be a little bit too intense here. Let me introduce some greens right across here. A little bit too intense. And I think I should break up the silhouette a little bit.
we drag some of this over here too. I think that's good. Drag that over here. I should drag some of the some of this over into this area too. Just to even it out a little bit. Even it out a little bit. Yeah. This is too dark here for too dark. <laughs> Okay, what I think I'll do is uh, pretty much want to wrap this up. This is bothering me down here. I think it should just be dark. So I'm going to include that. I think we're just going to. And think that's good. I'm not bothered by this down here. It's now I'm looking up here a little bit more. Okay, we're kind of closing down on the end now of this painting. Okay, so there's certain areas that you pick out and 
you enhance or you pull it back. And it takes time, but uh, you can, uh, sometimes it takes longer to do this and a lot of other things, but I'm going to, um, there's a certain areas here that I want to lighten up. They just calling out to be lightened up. It seems to be kind of like a reflection or light. It's from the clouds that emanates down here. It's a little bit lighter then. And so I'm going to put that in. It's not a starburst or anything, but Pretty good, pretty good. I can see right here there's a there's a light area too that should be pulled out.
Okay, I think that I'm going to um, put my signature down here. I'm going to use a red or something like that. Probably will use red. Okay, I think it's an improvement over the photo. Photo is ho hum, but this has some pizzazz to it. And so that's good. <clears throat> I see one area where I can improve it. Um, and I'm going to do that. Right along here. Just a little bit differentiation between the background and the floor, the foreground um, greens. That's it. Um, so, if you like it, subscribe, come back again, um, give me a thumbs up. Uh, tell me whether you like these at all, or I, you know, sometimes you just feel like quitting because no one says anything, you know. Um, so it's kind of nice when someone actually says something to you, get some kind of feedback. That's always nice. So thank you. We'll see you again. Take care. Bye.